communications associate for nearly three years. I met and accepted Christ in my life three years ago also, and it is through this job that made His grace and, and presence real to me. God has proven time and time again that I am where He wants me to be. When I came to the hotel for my first interview, I had three goals in mind. First, pass the six months probationary period. Second, build a good working relationship with my boss. And third, be on the wall of outstanding associates of the quarter and year. I shed a lot of tears, sweat, and blood to accomplish those three. I succeeded through the six months of probationary period despite the company's rigorous evaluation process and standards. And on top of that, I have a difficult boss. Even before I met my boss, I heard a lot of warnings about her from the girl I replaced and my co-workers. She has a reputation where no one lasts with her. I tried to ignore these discouraging remarks and just held on to God's promises. <coughs> True enough, they were right when they say that she's a terror boss. If you have seen the movie The Devil Wears Prada, she was my Mary Street. She has that stern, task-oriented, and mean aura, would often shout and swamp me with work. I would literally go run around in she in shields and even manage to have toilet breaks just to finish my deliverables and to end up going over that 9 p.m. and beyond. I did become scared of her that I would work on weekends. Eventually, I learned that her perfectionist and tough attitude stemmed from her troubled past. When I knew her backstory, my respect for her covered up for the tormentor image that many people made me believe. There are times when I would be tempted to talk or scrutinize her behind her back and involved in gossip, especially when I think she's being rude and considerate. But looking back, I was blessed to have Jesus already in my life then. As it gets unbearable, I was blessed to have Jesus Amen. As it gets unbearable, I began lifting up to the Lord my boss, my reactions toward her, and my hopes for a harmonious working relationship. Then one day I came to work, she was just so calm. We were exchanging jokes, and suddenly she was opening up her life and how much she loves the Lord as well. At first, I was really hesitant to share my faith to her or anyone at work. So I had this non-practicing Christian life on weekdays and striving servant of Christ on weekends. Of course, nothing in creation can be hidden from the Lord. As my desire to serve the Lord and make Him known grew, He impressed in my heart to start sharing Him in my workplace. Before I would keep quiet when my boss shares about Lord and be fearful of being persecuted. But God made the burden heavier that in one of our past 12 minute talks in her office, I was able to share my testimony and bits and pieces of God's word. After that, I became officially the prayer leader in our meetings and lunch outs. I witnessed how she became more careful with words and duration from daily to once a week and until it becomes so rare. One miracle that I won't forget is when she allowed me to leave work at exactly 6.30 p.m. for my GLC Wednesday classes before. She was also the person who nominated me for the Associate of the Year, which I was very humbled to receive last year. How amazing God is to fulfill my heart's desires. Now that I have a good working relationship with my boss, God gave me the opportunity to serve him in our workplace Bible study every Wednesday night. We average 6 to 10 daily, including management positions. I wouldn't have seen these things coming a year ago. But as, as I remain in my walk with the Lord, I am content and joyful where He has planted me. Indeed, I am a follower of Christ first before I could hear a mortal person. I am Pope Velasco, humbled and pri privileged to be working for the Lord. To God be all the glory.